The Lord Jesus said that it is those that endure until the end who will be saved. And um, I mean, you you can ask yourself like, why? Why do we actually have to endure something anyway? I mean, what if you're a true disciple and you have an easy life? Maybe you have a good job or maybe you have your own business and, you know, life is good for you. I mean, what is there to endure in, in such case? Um... The road of holiness, the road, um, the narrow road, it's a difficult road um, with many obstacles from the devil. If you are a Christian that has an easy life, um, you know, y you kind of have to uh, really uh, examine, you know, your dedication to the Lord and your obedience to the Lord. Because um, the devil will come against those who are true servants of God in, um, in many ways. The devil, you know, if, if we are truly um you know um shining the light of the lord in this dark in this dark world then um the devil will will persecute us and he will try to destroy us and he will do whatever it takes he will even use um friends and family or sickness i mean sickness is not um, necessarily um, sin problem and we know this because you know children can get sick uh, ch children of faithful disciples can get sick or you know um, Apostle Paul had a thorn in his flesh and you know he said I would rather boast in my infirmities so and even you know, um, Tabitha, who was a serious disciple, she got sick and she died. So, it is truly um, through, must, through, through much um, tribulation we, we will um, inherit the kingdom of God. And I want to read few verses in Hebrews chapter 5 starting with verse uh, 8 though he were a son yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered and being made perfect he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him now in order for us to um, inherit the kingdom of, of God and be saved, we obviously must learn obedience ourselves. And true obedience um, can only be... Um, accomplished you know by the tests of sufferings and this is the only way basically by which we can be made perfect and this is being perfect is the only way to ever see God I continue reading, called of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing, 
for when for the time he ought to be teachers, he have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern of good and evil. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, and of faith toward God, and of doctrine of baptisms, and of laying of the hands, and of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this will we do, if God permit. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you.